In this lesson, you get a free chunky knit blanket tutorial. You'll also learn decreasing, increasing, and how much yarn to use for different size blankets. <laughs> for your free tutorial, you need to go to trulymajestic.com. In the top right hand corner is a shop section. You need to click on the bulk giant wool yarn. That will take you to a page that sells yarn, but you also have lots of good stuff. Measurements, scroll all the way to the bottom of the listing and there's a free embedded video for you to watch how to make these blankets. Next, let's move on to decreasing stitches. These make your work smaller, so when you're knitting, this decreases your stitches. They're great for making heart blankets and all sorts of other shape blankets. Once you understand how to do this, the shapes you can knit up are unending. So to do that, we need to slip two stitches off our arm. Make sure the first stitch you've slipped is facing you and then knit from the back of the stitches to the front of the stitches and that is knitting two together. It's a decreasing stitch. So for every time you knit two together, you have two stitches, you end up with one. Don't get this confused with an SSK, which is the exact opposite of a knit two together. It also decreases, but it makes your stitches lean the opposite direction. So slip two off your arm, make sure the first one is facing you, knit them together. Now it's time to do an SSK or a slip slip knit decreasing stitch. We do this by slipping two stitches onto our hand and then twirling them so the second stitch we slipped is facing us. So the second stitch should be facing us. You'll notice this is opposite to a knit two together. The knit two together, the first stitch is facing us. SSK, the second stitch is facing us. You can find my heart blanket video tutorial on YouTube and as soon as you finish this lesson and learn how to make one, you should be able to knit up a heart with no problems. Make one is an increased stitch and it's done by grabbing the second bar between the stitches, pulling your yarn through this bar and up and then you'll have a brand new loop. So I'm going to do this as well going from the other direction so you can see what it looks like. Grab the second bar, yarn goes underneath that bar, pull it up, make a brand new loop, and there you have it. This chart is an approximate guide to how much wool you'll need for how big of a blanket. I will say this varies greatly on how big your arms are, how big your stitches are, so this is a general guide. This stripey blanket used six kilos of wool. If you're not already a subscriber, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's called Truly Majestic, and I'll see you in the next arm knitting lesson.